Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That was. Fucking hell. It's back again. That was not a wasp, guys. I can confirm. It was a fly. It's on the sun. What podcast even is this? God, when was the last time I did a podcast? Oh. And we are back, baby. Jesus. That was my last podcast. Hey, guys. What is going on? Lucy21 back. And it's a podcast. You know, it's been ages. But I'm back, baby. And the weather's good. I'm looking good. Feeling pretty good. How are you guys doing? I'm joining you on this fine Wednesday morning. Or afternoon. I don't get up that early. But yeah. Roll the intro. Have I done that already? Anyway, whatever. Oh, guys, you know what's really annoying? My latest vlog just got a copyright strike. Like, I don't care. Sod it. Okay, we're live. So yeah guys, I was out vlogging on the hottest day of the year and I did mention that the day before I was in hospital hosp I can't say the friggin' word but yeah, so I was in hospital um, I had a little blip again same thing as last time, twisted intestine But yeah guys, I mean, it's been a crazy few weeks and yeah, I was in hospital around May time, so that, that was more, way more recent than, well, anyone wants really. And so to be in there again was just doubly annoying. Anyway, I'll get comfortable. I'll get into that later, um, but really, no, I mean, so yeah, I want to, fuck's sake, okay, now I'm comfortable, so really, I want to, um, f fucking flies, I'm so distracted, uh, but yeah, the weather is brilliant. And I didn't miss the hottest day of the year because I was out um, on the Thursday night. So long story short, back to while I was in hospital. So same intestine related issues um, that I won't go into detail about. But they did say at the end that there's a surgery that can stop this happening ever again. But for me, it's like the health risks are too, too high. So they were like, no, nah, we can't really do that. So, there is a way to stop it, but I can't really do that without risking more, more health issues. So why would I do that? So, that's the outcome really. It could happen again, we don't know. It's nothing to do with what I eat. It's more about the condition. It's strange. Um, all the problems I do have, like, and this is the one that's annoying me the most. It, it's just, it's a bit ironic really. But it wasn't as bad as last time because I was out within the, the day and they gave me permission to leave so I left 10pm Thursday night. We were there from 12 midday on Thursday. A long day and I was ready to, to be admitted again. Like they would, I didn't want to stay overnight but they would have um, 
It would have admitted me had it come to that. But I'm trying to just take it one day at a time, not overthink things, stay calm, you know. Um, try and get back to eating normally. I'm trying to gain weight anyway. And I've been given these like milkshakes. Well, they're not really milkshakes. It's, it's like a compact. It's called compact. And it's like a powder you add to milk and it helps you gain weight, calories, all that. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm on that. So that's helping. But this whole thing with my stomach, it doesn't really help me gain weight because it reduces your appetite when it does happen so I, I can't eat properly when it does happen but yeah I hope you guys are doing okay it's not all about me you know I'm checking in with you guys too it's been a while since since I've done one of these and this is episode although I started counting the podcast from one again this is episode 18, though I've done probably a hundred of this style. Um, and we're in the heat, not 34 degrees, just 25. And you know, like every time I'm out of hospital, I learn something new. And like, I don't know, I get a new lease of life, even though like, it's annoying as hell and I don't wish it on anyone like that many times in one year it's just ridiculous and then people ask me are you well are you better like can't really answer that it's hard to say because the minute I say that then something else happens you know I was just just getting back to normal then it happens again like and I had this problem for years but it hasn't affected me this much in one year. Like, it happened first of all, what, 2018? Then it didn't happen for a few years. And then this year, like, four times I've been in the Royal Free with this problem. So it's like, what the hell? What am I doing wrong? But, you know, it's not me. It's not my fault, you know. So... I didn't miss all the heat wave, you know, I got some some of the heat and when I came out uh, on Thursday from that hospital I noticed like, well, this is a summer heat like that we're not used to. It was 22 degrees. 22 degrees at night. Like, what's going on in England? But if I was well enough to vlog then surely it weren't that bad. Like, I put on a brave face. I look better than I probably feel most of the time when it comes to this problem. That Friday I felt good though. I was like, I'm not wasting my time. And that was the feeling. And that's the feeling I live with. The more times this problem annoys me or affects me, like, the more I realise, like, don't waste your time. Don't sit around doing nothing. Don't live in fear of this. It's pretty much what the doctor said that before he let, let me leave. I mean, it don't mean I'm perfect. It doesn't mean overnight that I'm back to normal, you know? But I, I can't just stay, you know, stay in that mindset of or what if it happens, just in case. I don't want this to happen again. Should I, how should I avoid this? But I can't avoid it. That's it. Can't avoid it. It could happen any time. Um, you know, I'd rather it didn't happen this often. There's never an ideal time. There's never, you know, that time to go to the hospital, like, there's no time that you think, okay, this is fine. You know, 
and it doesn't help my parents with their business you know it doesn't and so many things going on it's just crazy but a new kitchen new kitchen almost done um, but yeah like I said earlier there is a surgery I could have but I shouldn't have well they don't recommend it and no they literally said you can't you can't have this surgery you know why risk it for something that you know you can kind of live with but it's annoying as hell and it's easy for a doctor to say look you can't have this surgery because what it would do is they would remove that bit of the intestine and your intestine would be shorter wouldn't make a difference but it would no it would make it like but then there's other issues of going through surgery like under anaesthetic could my heart take it you know for this kind of surgery the difference is you still digest normally but you'd have a shorter intestine that might not get twisted in this case you know and maybe there's another way to do it but that's what we're dealing with yeah I don't recommend colonoscopies I don't recommend them and that is what I had to have I won't go into any more detail um yeah I mean think about it I could have gone look can I have that footage I could put that in my vlog you know here's my insides no nah. imagine that like on my next vlog just my colonoscopy Louise 21 from the inside an inside look no nah. god what am I like but yeah that's what it is and could be more miserable about it I don't know my happiness is the weather making me happy and my terrible 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 sense of humour it's not even that good but I think in life you know we always want to improve and there's so many things you could, but I mean yeah guys despite everything I'm still out of it making videos because it you know to I don't know to make content for other people like what I'm doing for you in that sense I feel better it makes me feel better about everything that I'm giving something back leaving something behind if I get hit by a bus tomorrow you know that kind of thing like you gotta leave some sort of legacy um, and I feel better when I help other people have a better day and realise maybe they're not alone in their suffering in whatever they're going through whether they can talk about it or not just know that someone gets you um, maybe I do, maybe I don't but I'm just trying to tell my story to help other people like realise they're not the only ones like going through stuff with the stuff like I said can't even talk about really on here it's not my place to but like just saying the last few years I've learned a lot about mental health um, and it's as, as disabling as physical any physical illness like and I can tell you about them all day like I'm here aren't I sitting here so yeah I don't know like as long as I can do what I want to do I'm happy like I was watching an interview with um, this comedian um, TJ Miller you might know him he's in Deadpool anyway and he's in like Ready Player One and loads of other movies um, he's like a comedian or well, actor comedian you might know him from Silicon Valley as well anyway he was saying oh a message um, yeah he was saying like when he was younger he had this um, like something on his brain to do with a part of the brain 
Um, and they said like, if we don't operate, then you're going to be, you're going to be dead by the age of 30. And so they had to operate because he was having these manic episodes as a result of this part of the brain. Um, and they operated, removed whatever it was from his brain. And before it, he asked the doctors like, would I still be funny after? And they were like, I mean, there's no reason it will alter your personality. So yeah, you'll still be funny. He's like, but he was like, if I'm not funny, I mean, I'd rather die at 30, he said. Like he didn't want to live if he couldn't do what he loved, which is to be funny. And the doctors couldn't understand. They were, they were like, yeah, but you'll be alive, you'll have a life. You won't without comedy. Like they don't get that it's comedy that is what he's doing. So like, how can you, a, a doctor, these doctors, they, they couldn't understand what he meant. Like, what, you'd rather die than live a life, a, a life? He's like, well, yeah, because if you can't be funny, then what is he going to do? If I can't make videos, like, what am I going to do? Um, and there's nothing stopping me doing that. You've got to do what you love. And I saw a quote, it was like, you know, don't live a life where you need a vacation. Make the life you live good enough so you don't need a vacation or the job you have. Um, and I've got another quote here talking about making other people happy from my point of view, like, so never underestimate your ability to impact someone's life in a positive way. It's true though. I mean, the things I could can control. You know, I can make people resonate with something, hopefully. Or have a laugh, a bit of banter, whatever it is. I'm here for you guys. And I hope you're there for me too, in some ways. I'm not going to be at your door begging for money. Nah. But just watch. Stick a like, you know. All the usual. And so I've been a bit harsh on myself recently, like, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have too, and always are. Some of you, maybe you're not. Maybe you think you're the best, and you've got it all figured out. So you don't need this video. But if you are that person, then you're naive. You're like, you've got to be willing to learn more and, like, accept things, you know what I mean? Like you've got to praise this, you'd be proud of who you are, but like, don't overdo it. There's a balance. Balance to, to everything, really. Um, so the quote is, please remember to treat yourself kindly when you are tired and your emotions are beating on your brain, Be beating up your brain. Yeah, because it does take a toll, like, you're, over, you're thinking about things that haven't even happened and you're worrying about them, why? Like, don't worry about the ifs, just worry about the facts and what's in front of you. Wait, wait, no, wait. Wait. Don't make noise. Yeah, so guys, um, the camera keeps stopping and I'm fed up of this keep happening. So I'm going to end it here. I mean, good chat, guys. Thanks for joining me yet again. I want to thank you guys. Keep living life, keep loving life. Enjoy the weather while it lasts. It'll probably be like a week and it'll be rain for the whole year. Anyway, guys, take it easy, fam. Peace.